Hey everybody, it's George the Tech, here to cover some of the cool stuff we see at NAMM Show. I did not want to miss Audient because these guys have a trick up their sleeve, and here to tell us all about it is Andy. How you doing, Andy? Hey guys, see how you doing, man? Thank Good. You, man. This is our new um, product range and sub brand that we've launched under the Audion umbrella. Yeah. And it's two interfaces. It's a two channel interface and a four channel interface. Right. So the primary focus on this is a feature called Smart Gain as it comes up on the screen perfectly in time. Um, so what this allows you to do is dial in your channels automatically. So uh, it's ideal for people that want to focus on the creative process or they might not necessarily have the experience. What this allows you to do is quickly set your gain levels um, and start working straight away. So this this has switchable phantom power, a full 48 volts that can be uh, assigned to channel one and two individually. Um, and it's all done over bus power and it is 100% uh, 48 volts. Some of these buttons on the unit also have dual functionality. For example, channel one and two and the volume button, you can hold them down to mute them so if you're doing a podcast and you need to cough or you know you need to quickly meet your microphone yeah yeah it's all tactile and it's all there and you can just you can just do it straight away so we try to add some cool features like that that are actually useful channels 1 and 2 are they can they can be dialed in manually as well so you don't you're not forced to use the smart game mode if you don't want to uh, it's a new preamp design so it's not the audio preamp design but it's very similar in terms of the way it sounds um, it offers 58 db uh, of di of gain range which you know is really really good for the price point which I'll get to but it in terms of character it's, it's very similar to audience it's clean it's it's very honest and very accurate one of the really really cool features that's particularly interesting for, for your audience is we have loopback so loopback is built into both Evo 4 and 8 and what that essentially allows you to do is record your computer's audio at the same time as your microphone, for example. So again, using podcasting as an example, if you had someone phoning in on a Skype call and you wanted to record their Skype call and record your microphone at the same time, so you can edit it and, and get better uh, producing abilities, then you can do that. And it's, it's all really, really simple. So in terms of functionality for, for the price point, it really is a very fully featured interface. But that's not to forget that it is a, it is a very good interface on, on its own for home recording. Dynamic range is 113 dB, it's AK, AK, AKM converters. This exact same converters found in our Sono interface, which you know is four times the price. Well, actually, when is it available and for what will we be looking to pay? Yeah, so this will be available uh, towards the end of February, but price points are 129 map, so very affordable, and 199 map. Very nice. Yeah. And uh, yeah, fantastic. we're really excited about them. Package yeah. and price point's amazing. Can't wait to test it in the real world and see yeah. how it sounds yeah. and how Good. it works. Cool. Excellent. Congratulations, Andy. Thank you very much. George the Tech here, NAM 2020, looking for the top five things at NAM, and we've got one on the list for sure with Vanguard. Vanguard's got a new microphone. The V13 is pretty cool with tubes, but what if you don't want to have the big power supply in the tubes and you still want that sound? What do we got, Derek? Well, we got the Vanguard V4. It's like the little baby brother of the V13. So yes. It actually uses the same exact capsule, same voicing, three micron, super sensitive diaphragm, and it's a custom voicing. It's the only one like it in the world. It's our, it's our little baby. So we've got three patterns on this. Cardioid, which would probably be the one you use. Figure eight if you want more proximity, and Omni if you want less. Figure eight's also great for a dual interview. You got one on the back, one on the front. Right here in the middle. We were able to ditch the tube, the power supply, and the transformer, which reduces our cost a lot, but still tune the circuit to sound a lot like the V13. Way easier to travel with. Way easier to travel with. Supply. It does come with the aluminum case, comes with the shock mount. Yeah. Also comes with mic sleeves, so you don't have to take it down every time. You just cover it up. I call it the mic condom. You practice oh, nice. safe storage. That's a good idea, actually. Yeah. <laughs> when are these going to be available? These are out now? These are out now, oh, okay. and the best part is this. 340 or 399. 399. That's half pretty the darn price good. of the V13. That's pretty Very darn affordable. Good. And if you're looking to upgrade from a USB mic and get something that is going to do wonders for your voice, I think this will do a great I've job. I've recommended a lot of mics in this basic price range, but this is one of the few with three patterns where they can have a lot more control over and the sound. And it has a pad and roll off if you do oh, need it those. Oh, it does. That's, you probably, 
the roll be. off is very very helpful yeah. yeah being able to cut the bottom end out is the most helpful thing a voice actor can do pretty impressive well thanks Derek thanks yeah, for telling thank us all you, about it see you at the next booth Hi, I'm Chris New with Peluso Microphone Lab here at the 2020 NAM. I wanted to show you guys one of our newest mics here. This is the Peluso PS1. This is a large diaphragm stage condenser microphone. It's got a one inch centered edge terminated capsule. This is a very durable mic, very road worthy and stage worthy. It's got a large diaphragm capsule. It's got an 18 dB pad. It's got high and low end roll offs. It's internally shock mounted. The capsule is mounted on a steel post. The post is in two silicone discs inside. It eliminates the handling noise. Very heavy duty, robust body. The interior of the head grill has a wind foam on the inside to take care of the pops. In comparison to our other models, this microphone is probably closest to our version of the uh, 414. It has the, the edge terminated capsule and the circuit design is, is very similar to that of the, of the 414, but uh, in a handheld stage body ready for the road. What's the, uh, it's got that roll off. Where does the top roll off start? Uh, the low roll off set uh, 125, and the high roll off starts at 8K. This 414's voicing is similar to which AKG because they've made so many over the years. Like, what, how would you characteristic its voicing? This 414 microphone has a brass capsule, similar to the very early 414s, perhaps in the, the line about the EB the version. EB, mm -hmm. right. So it has the brass capsule, has mechanical switches, four patterns, two stages of pad, two stages of roll off. It's got a transformer output. We gave it an extended stem on the base for easier mounting, quick setup. And we did a really heavy duty body build on this, heavy duty head grill. Uh, this mic is also really road worthy and, uh, and uh, sounds fantastic. Frequency response on this one is very flat all the way across the board. It's a fantastic microphone. Great. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for coming by. I hope you're having a great name. Oh, sure. Certainly are. Certainly are. Great <laughs> to be here. Hey, guess what? I'm at NAMM Show and I'm checking out Owl Sound's new headphones. These are planar magnetic driver noise canceling Bluetooth headphones. And tell me a little quick about them. Where can we find these things? You can find them February 1st on www.ausounds.com. Get your very own planar magnetic uh, over your headphones, active noise cancellation, 28 hour battery life, only $2.99. And they plug in, so you can plug them into your DAC or your instrument for low, no latency. And I mean, I have a ton of headphones. These things sound so incredibly detailed, and normally headphones like this are way more expensive. And they're really comfortable, so... Oh man, NAMM show, it cost me so much damn money because now i got to buy another pair of headphones. But I think I'm going to have to. These things are pretty awesome. We're trying to show you five great things from NAMM, and absolutely I can't miss Mojave microphones. And a guy I've known actually a long time, I met at the Donald Fontaine VoiceOver Lab when they contributed microphones to help us launch that studio at SAG Foundation, Dusty Wakeman. How you doing, Dusty? Great to see you, George. Good yeah, to see you, too. I'm glad to Good hear to that you. the studio and the foundation is still going on and it doing really well. Is. That's great. What you helped to contribute in your way is it's doing what it was designed to do. So that's great. We built it and now it's now it's happening. Thousands of voice actors and fledgling actors have come through that studio. That's so, wonderful. Yeah. Great to hear. Well, what is happening at Mojave? I mean, you guys, you've got the high end and the low end and everything right. in the middle. So well, these mics are all designed tour. by David Royer, who's famous for the ribbon, Royer ribbon mics. Right. These are the condenser mics, sure, sure. which he's been making for decades, started yeah. in his garage, hand making yeah. them under the Mojave name. Right. Uh, about 10 miles from here in Fullerton. Yeah. And uh, the, you know, it starts with the MA50. This is our transformerless right. uh, $600 microphone. Great for voiceover work. Yeah. A really popular microphone. Great sounding mic. Very uncolored. Uncolored. Yeah, okay. very transparent. Gotcha. And then we move to the uh, 201 FET and the 301 FET. These both have Jensen transformers in them. Okay. Uh, so they're a little beefier. And uh, the 201 FET is cardioid only. And it's also very popular for voiceover work. 
Gotcha. The 301 Fed is a little more versatile. It's got three patterns of the on patterns, it, multi-pattern, right. and it has a high-pass filter and a, an attenuator. Oh, that's helpful, yeah. So you can really use it for a lot of different things. Right, right. right. I, I, it's fun. I, I love to have voice actors with multi-pattern mics get out of the usual cardioid and try out the figure, right. figure eight. Yeah, figure eight is great. It just creates this different really focus focused. pattern, and if you've got glass next to a you know a microphone, it right. takes the glass reflection out. It's... It's actually pretty useful. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, the uh, we moved to the tube mics, the 200 and the 300. Right. The 200 is cardioid only. The 300 is multi-pattern. I and see the, how uh, they're related. The pattern yeah. selector for this one is on the power supply, and it's continuously variable. Right. So you can really dial it in. Wow, that's pretty amazing. You can hyper-cardioid yeah. or super-cardioid. Anywhere cardioid in between. Anywhere in between. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So, we're so we started here around 800-ish? Uh, 600. 600. And this one's 3,000. 3,000. So, so that's Everything the range. in between. Right. Very nice. Most of them are below 1,500 except yeah. for this one. That's and our first really high they're, end. They're mark. design and made right here in the area. Yep. In Burbank. Beautiful downtown Burbank. And all of these are currently available. They're all on the they're market. All available. They're all out yeah, there. Yeah, Sweetwater, Vintage King, Guitar Center, gotcha. all the usual suspects. Sounds good. Yep. Well, it's great catching up with you again, yeah, man. Yeah, you too, man. And Thanks, if we could do anything to help with the foundation, you know, don't hesitate to call. I'll let them know. Love being involved. I'll let them know. Fantastic. Cool. Cool. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming by. George the Tech here at NAMM Show. See you at the next booth. Hey, everybody. It's George the Tech here at NAMM 2020 in Anaheim. I promised you five amazing things from NAMM, and this is definitely going to be on that list. This is Studio Bricks. How you doing, Miguel? Hi, George. How are you feeling? Amazing. Well, you've got the uh, a beautiful chrome paint job version of the yeah, yeah. the Studio Bricks. This is the Studio Bricks One Plus. Yes, this is the three by five. Tell me why this booth works so well for voiceover in this size. This is, you know, we do have the the Studio Bricks One and One Plus, and we have a new one that is a little bit like with wider. Is is the the One Plus XXL? Oh really? It's three by six. Oh nice. Yes. So because some people need a little bit more space for yeah. you know like performing inside. Right. They want that extra amount of space. Yeah. Is the extension on the side of the door? So it's sort of like the same width. Yeah. On both you, sides yes. of the door. Yeah. Yeah. You are right. Got yeah. you. Okay. Uh, what are some of the unique features of the Studio Bricks? So as you know, Studio Bricks uh, doesn't uh, have any kind of booth with one single wall. We do have like only double wall or triple wall. Yeah. As you can see here, double wall, right? that is the double wall. And you have like MDF, varnish MDF here, and also the uh, foam um, MDF here. That's a, like an inch and a half gap. So the basic model has this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It slopes out around like 45 decibels, mm -hmm. and the triple wall it slopes out about uh, around like 48 to 50 decibels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let, let's go inside and, and, and hear what this sounds like yeah, when we go in piece. here. So, as you can see here, and you can hear here, you know, if we close the door and seal the door, you know, we are getting really, really quiet. Yeah, that extra then, seal mechanism makes a considerable difference. Yeah, the difference is pretty, pretty like big, right? Yeah, it really is. We do have in well in this in this case uh, we do have the the Studio Bricks One Plus Voiceover Edition. It's coming with the microphone arm and also the you know the the tray arm. Mm -hmm. And more acoustic panels on the floor level, the integrated desk and the bass trap. And uh, you know, it makes a lot of difference. But this can be removed and you can you can yeah. put a display on that. Yeah, you can put that a display. That's included with it, right? Yes, of course. And yeah. then and then in this case also we do have that window. It's an extra window. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can add a extra window. And you can assemble and dismantle it as many times you want. We don't have any screw, we don't have any nail, any right. kind of glue, we don't use any kind of glue. So you can, you know, you snap the pieces together, dismantle them, and you can, you know, do that as many times as you want. Now, usually these come shipped from Spain, right? Yeah. Um, but there's something going on with the U.S. Yeah. So good news. Earlier. Yes, good news because uh, uh, in March we are gonna have a bunch of them here in the United States. So the thing is going to be that uh, the price, the shipping price, is gonna go down. 
and that is a good news because you know people can save around like 400 to 500 dollars shipping price goes down yes. and, the, and the shipping speed is it shipping goes speed? Way up. yes because we are gonna <laughs> store them there in in you know in new jersey Lovely. so that is gonna be you know a big difference so and it's gonna be our first pilot and then if it goes well yeah. we are gonna you know go ahead and keep going do that and um, with the studio bricks one one plus voiceover edition and no mm -hmm. voiceover edition so in white color well congratulations that is a big thank deal thank you very much okay george bye. the tech bye everybody bye, -bye. <laughs> awesome thanks steve <laughs>